After being chewed out by Amadeus, John and Mr. David find themselves in the courtyard training. However, John finds it hard to concentrate as his father's words echo through his head. As John stood there, feeling weighed down by his responsibilities as the future king, the very thing that changed everything was just a few miles away from the castle. Ah, yes, another great day of training. That was some good work you did out there, John. Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> it's nothing, David. It's just so hard to be the future king. It's like once you sign up, you're no longer free to be yourself. You can't have fun anymore. I understand that. But you but he is right. You know, dad's just looking out for you. You are this kingdom's next leader and he's going to retire one day. You have to be prepared for what is ahead of you. Uh, you sound just like him. But yeah, you're right. As this kingdom's future leader, I need to be more responsible. Especially if I am to make a good impression on both you and the people. Mm, thank you. You're welcome, John. I'm sure you'll be a great leader. Now, uh, if we're done with training, I would like to be dismissed to go for my afternoon walk, if that's okay with you. Sure, go on ahead. I have some studying to do. Okie dokie. Little did they know, the very crystal that gave Mr. David his powers had just been revealed after the asteroid broke up into pieces upon impact. Ooh, what is this beautiful crystal right here? It's so green. I bet it's worth a fortune. What is happening? After taking 50,000 volts of electricity, Mr. David passed out on the ground. The crystal was now black as all the energy had gone into his body. Meanwhile, after John realized David had been gone for a long time, he had gone searching for him, only to find him passed out on the ground. After being seen by paramedics, they discovered a strange green glow around his body along with static electricity. They were unable to touch him. One day, during a small fight that broke out outside the castle between the two brothers and a band of thieves who came to steal their money, David jumped in and saved his brother from getting shot by one of the thieves. Mr. David took 50 shots to the chest, but was unharmed. When the family got word of this, they knew right away Mr. David was now an ultra-human.